that was 125 miles an hour, ladies and gentlemen. Hello everyone and welcome to South Kenton Station, located on the West Coast Main Line. Uh, situated between... Where's the situation between? Situated between Wembley Central and Harrow Wildstone. For those of you who don't know, an absolutely brilliant, brilliant, brilliant station. Because just look at the views. Ah, we've got a Bakerloo line train arriving in now. This one is bound for Elephanton Castle from uh, Harrow and Wildstone. So we'll be seeing services operated today by the London Underground Bakerloo line, the London Overground, London North Western Railway, which I always keep wanting to call London Midlands, because to me it still is, and of course the Vanity West Coast, which we saw 390 just go through a minute ago. In the intro, you saw 710 379 depart going northbound. I was on a London Overground service going from London Euston to Watford Junction. 390046 was bound for Edinburgh, which is the 390 you saw pass just a moment ago. So that's 390047. Enjoys the real time train, is eh? So yes, let's see what turns up. I was about to say, let's see what turns up at South Kenton. We've got something else coming through as well. Just, 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 how, just how busy it is here. It is a pet or it is a pair of 350s. They're by 352.58 and 352.51. They were going from Milton Keynes Central to London Euston, having just stopped at Harrow and Wildstone. Passing through now making an awful racket, the distance is going to be a London North Western Railway Class 350 bound for Birmingham New Street. Rift 371 and 352.37. Next up for those will be at Watford Junction. So nice to be back on the West Coast Main Line again. South Kenton is a station I filmed at many, many, many times before. This might be my fifth or my sixth time revisiting. The reason I keep coming back is because it is just such an incredible station. I mean, it's a weekend today, but on a weekday it's even busier than this. You should try coming here in rush hour. If there's the best time to come here is in a weekday rush hour. As arriving now is going to be a Bakerloo Line 72 stock heading northbound. This will likely be from Elephanton Castle. In fact, it is probably good. We can check on the rear, we can check on the rear. Just number 3562 at the front. These 72 stock are currently the oldest electric multiple units operating anywhere in the United Kingdom. They are delightful, aren't they? Everything about this is just so nice. Please mind the step down to, to, to the train from the platform rather than the other way around. You have to step down to the train from the platform. This train's next stop will be at Kenton before reaching its terminus at Harrow and Wealdstone. 3236 bringing up the rear. Oh, I can hear so yep. Here we go, we've got another London North Western Railway Class 350 passing us, which is going to be another double set. Three fifty two five nine and three fifty two three four. I didn't quite get where they were going, but I believe they were going to trim, correct me if I'm wrong, captions man. It's quite early on in the video, but I think we should get on to question of the video. I had a very good idea for one. It's quite a tough question today. It's a tough question. In the previous clip, I mentioned that the 1972 stock were the oldest electric multiple units in operation in the United Kingdom. My question for you is, what are the second oldest electric multiple units in operation in the United Kingdom? Leave your answers down in the comments below. I said, this is a tough one. My word, these seven tons are so quiet, you can't even hear them coming. 
710 260 is arriving in now with a service going from Watford Junction to London Euston. They seem absolutely gigantic compared to the um, Bakerloo line stop that we saw just a minute ago. Passing swiftly out is going to be the 1437 London Overground service running from Watford Junction to London Euston, with its next stop being at North Wembley. Seven ten T60. Watford DC lines here being unique, hence the name. As they have no overhead wires, they are powered completely by third rail, which is in contrast to the West Coast Main Line, which runs directly alongside, which uses overhead AC. As passing through now are two trains, I'm not entirely sure which is going to reach the camera first. On the fast lines, we have a London North Western Railway set of 350s going from Birmingham New Street to London Euston. Three fifty one two six and three fifty two six three. As also arriving in on the down Watford DC platform is going to be a class seven ten bound for Watford Junction. This one being seven ten three seven six. The seven ten dash threes being the units which are custom built for the Watford DC lines, but have also started popping up on the uh, Goblin lines recently. We've got a Tring to Euston three fifty passing through now three fifty one one nine. by 35245. These services are expected to be replaced by Class 730-1s in the near future. I believe they've already started testing and they should be rolled out in the coming year or so. In fact, by the time this video is uploaded, they almost certainly will be in service. As 710376 departs with this one's next stop, as with all London Overground and Bakerloo line services heading northbound being at Kenton. Kenton station is about a 5-10 minute walk away from Northwick Park station on the Metropolitan line so if you ever need to change between the two lines, changing at Kenton and switching to Northwick Park or vice versa is very useful. Arriving in now, we have another one of the delightful 72 stock arriving in, bound for Elephant and Castle from Harrow and Wieldstone. Bakerloo line services are about every 8 minutes up here on this section of line, so I won't film all of them. This is 3267 ringing up the front, this might be the same set we saw a minute ago going up to Harrow and Wieldstone. I'm just watching behind because you do have another train schedule to pass us very shortly. sound like to you. If you guessed class 390 you would be correct. That was a service going from Edinburgh to London Euston. You didn't manage to see it at all. Oh we've got another one coming through though. So you didn't lose much. Three ninety one three four. I believe also going pretty close to 125 miles an hour. I believe that one is bound for Manchester. Because of the Pendolino's tilting abilities, the 390s are able to get up right up to 125 miles an hour, not long after departing Houston. If you've played this route in Train Simulator, you'll know just how I believe it goes up to 125 miles an hour, very close to Wembley. Oh, 
Possibly, that was 391.36. I said the previous service bound from Manchester to well, Glasgow. This service was from Manchester Piccadilly. Yeah, click clacketing for the station is such a cool sound. This is one of the services that runs via crew and it's run non stop from Stafford. Two 390s there, that was amazing, wasn't it? First 390 was the uh, youth passing service running from London Euston to Manchester Piccadilly, and the second one was a Avanti West Coast service running from Glasgow Central to London Euston, which was 390118 and 114 respectively. Passing through now, we have a pair of 350s bound for Milton Keynes Central, which is 350116, 410. And two four six. A triple set, that's unusual to see on a weekend. Next off of course being at Harrow and Wildstone. L N W R stopping all services at Harrow and Wildstone now, which is good. But at one point it used to literally just be the Um Tring service which you stopped there. I guess since Southern have stopped doing their Watford Junction to Clapham services, um it started adding more services. So I think now is going to be a London London Overground service, the 1452 service running from Watford Junction to London Euston. As you may be able to hear a big clue line service arriving behind me as well. This is 710268. There's, seven, there's there lots of 710-2s out on the Watford DC line then. Surely there must be some 710-3s out on the Barking, Gospel to Barking line today then. Passing through now, the 350 bound for Rugby from London Euston. Three fifty two forty and three fifty two three two on that set. Unusual service. I'm not too sure how frequently that one runs. Um, I believe has it got something to do with the crew service not running because no crew services seem to be running today. So let's say the crew services aren't running further than rugby today. That seems to be what's happening. As we've got a bit of clue line service driving an outbound four elephant and car, so I might as well keep the camera rolling. And 710, I told you these trains are so quiet you can barely hear them. 710378 as well. Announcements are really loud on this one, well. If this one departs quickly enough, we might also be able to see a London Northwestern Railway Class 350 uh, running from Milton Keynes Central to London Euston behind as well. The 3562 bringing up the rear of that one. Three fifty two four two and three fifty one oh two. Bound for London Houston. So we're a bit cold today. My watch is telling me three degrees. Passing through now we have a London North Western Railway class three fifty going from London Houston to Tring. This is one of London North Western Railway's uh, services that stop at all stations along the way. That is north of Waterford Junction. Three fifty 
249 and 35370 were on that set. Those were our London North Western Railway Class 350 running from London Euston to Birmingham New Street on the fast lines. It's got very clear lines of arriving in here, which is about um, passing out outbound for Harrow and Wildstone, next door being at Kenton. Patrol by 3262. As we also have another London Overground Class uh, 710 bound for London Euston from Watford Junction. Just 710, 377. Exciting times. There's another 350 passes behind. Boston Green Ave in London North Western Railway Class 350 going from Tring to London Euston, another one. Fifty one out of seven and three fifty one one two or one one three. I need to check in the edit, it was one of those. That's got a big come on, get in focus. I've got a big blue line service arriving in now, bound four, Elephant and Castle. I don't usually have that issue with focus, it's strange. So 350 passing behind, of course. That one is going for another one of those strange services going from Rugby to London Euston. You just gonna sit there or are you gonna open the doors? That's interesting, isn't it? Got a spoken line line service which will be passing out any minute now. Bound for, I was about to say London Euston, but bound for. Elephant in Castle. Three five six three bringing up the uh, rear. Looks like we'll have time for one final event US Coast service today, operated by Class 390, going from Manchester Piccadilly to London Euston. Three ninety one one seven. Don't you think that new livery looks so cool? Though? It looks really, really nice on our new 805s and 807s, which I've ordered. Just going over, hearing it go over that ride in the distance is all very, very cool. Just before my train comes in, we've got an older 350 passing through on the slow lines. I'm not actually too sure where this one is going. Three fifty two four five and one one nine. They were going to Milton Keynes Central. Oh my word! It is so cold here. As my train arrives in the lovely Bakerley Line seventy two stock, bound for Harrow and Woodstone, which will take me back home. Thank you all very very much for watching this video. I really do hope you enjoyed. If you did, then do click the like button down below and do consider subscribing if you enjoy my content for some reason. I look forward to welcoming you back to the channel soon. But until then, goodbye from me, and goodbye from South Kinton. Bye everyone, step down.